I'm going to play another game of Digital Ortis Regni. This is the digital version of the card game of the same name. Uh, in this game, I'm going to play against three AI opponents. And the deck that I've chosen for this game consists mostly of politics cards. There's three different main categories of cards in Ortis Regni. The land cards, the face cards, and the political cards. And I've taken four treacheries, two intrigues, two allies, two banquets, and six banners. So I'm going to show off some of what the political cards can do. Hopefully I'll get around to what most of them can do. Now this deck is pretty short on punch and while the three castles will come in handy for durability, it's it could stand to be a more durable uh, deck. So we'll see how I'll do against three AI opponents with this very political deck. Red has drawn the cube to go first, so I'll go second, green third, and blue last. Not terribly happy with my starting hand. When I take six banners, I'm hoping to get king and to not spend too many banners doing so. So I'd like to get some banners in my starting hand, so I'll redraw that. Only one banner, but I'll have to live with this. Now since I only have one banner, I'm not quite ready to move in to become king, so I'll just do the safer move and put out a prince to defend myself. That banquet will allow me to draw two cards as an action, so that might help me to get the banners I need to quickly seize the king position. Use that banquet, click out here in the middle, do two extra cards. Don't really need that second prince right now, that's my backup, but I'll have to hang on to it. And the blue player has sent an emissary to the Vikings. First player to do that, I think. Red player has that mercenary. Feeling vulnerable with my one thief and no towers. Guess I want to get out a second thief. I may regret not using towers. Now, I really can't stop this. If I put out the vassal, it still wouldn't really be quite enough. I could hope for a lucky card, which I get, the defender wins card. In order to keep his prince, he sent me a ransom of a land. So I'll confirm that. Claim the land and attach it to my palace. That went very well for me. Well, my luck persists. Six damage coming in at my palace. Really can't put out enough to stop this. normal battle and that will be the end of my palace and my prince. I guess now that second prince might come in handy. I guess I was a little brazen with my lack of towers. Still feeling unsure of what I would put out here as a tower but maybe this allies. Will I live?
live long enough to put out those two banners and try to be king. We'll give it a try. Glad to see green attacking blue instead of me. Blue has those vassals out in his castles, making attractive looking targets for my treachery cards. If I treachery a vassal successfully, then the castle goes with it. Now I'm betting someone who's put out two vassals like that has an allies card, but you never know. And how many could they have? Blue only has two cards in their deck or in their hand. No one has contested my run for king here, so I best put out the second banner and seize that. Glad to have gotten it while only spending two of my banners on it, so I can use the rest for jousts and bequeathing. get a second castle out, get a vassal into that next turn. As much as I'd like to potentially joust or do something else with these banners, I bet they're better off to me now as towers. Risking my lords here a little bit, try and protect those towers. Might be the wrong choice. Glad it wasn't, normal battle. Guess what I will do is use this banquet, draw out some more cards. Then I basically want to use some of these political cards, then bequeath, shuffle them back into my deck and be able to use them again. Now I'm wishing I had kept that allies card which I towered earlier because I've just been hit by a treachery and I don't have an allies to stop it and so I just have to concede and castle goes with it. Red has eliminated blue and now has three palaces, mine, his own, and blue's. It's not a bad setup for red. I think I'm going to have to try and take red's land with my intrigue card. He had no allies or didn't use them, and so now I have that land and market combo. Red has bequeathed, shuffling his deck. So now that I've got that land market combo, I really should make use of it to do a double recruit. So now 
both of these opponents have bequeathed and I'm the only one who hasn't, which means I'd better do so or I'll be dying first. But I'd like to get some of my political cards into the discard pile before I do that. Intrigue these lands. Now he stopped it with an allies, but I'm gonna press my luck and put a vassal into this mix. Now he's got one. Does he have two? He doesn't. It's getting more dire that I bequeath, but still want to run things a little risky. See if I can make use of these political cards first. I'm not going to risk the prince in battle where I need to bequeath so soon. These are all just infantry, so I'll recruit more. Glad I didn't put the prince in. Attack a wins card. Still put out enough to prevent my towers from being damaged. Continue to live dangerously and use this treachery card before I bequeath. And again. I absolutely must bequeath on this next turn. Hopefully nothing goes horribly wrong before then. So now I'll bequeath. I grab one of these banners, click on my Prince Lord, reshuffle my deck. big attack from green. Let's see if I can stop some of this. I guess that would let just one point of damage through. Terrible attacker wins. We've seen two of those I think now. I have to assign one damage. Fortunately this market town is redundant. You really only need one to double the effects of the land on a thief. Now I really need to stop Green from doing what he just did again. If I recruit, I can use two armies to fight back. If I hit him with a treachery card on his prince, then he might be less inclined to make the attack because he can't loot. It's a long shot because he probably has an ally, and he does. I think I now need to put out even more towers. A second bequeathing for green. Vikings finally come out. They've been delayed by several rounds of combat. And I get them first. No one living has sent an emissary. I can send six damage at one of these opponents. Which shall it be? Well, I think that red looks the most dangerous. 
but I could probably do the most damage to green. Church decides, but there is no church, so it's just normal battle. And massacre on both sides. Get a prince back into my remaining fief. Now I can start drawing some more of these treacheries. Hit that prince, hoping to prevent him from bequeathing. Recruited two armies, and I'll put them right onto my king's garrison, where they can be fielded whether I have the land or not. Red now has a horrific sized army. Better put a dent in that. Treachery on one of these champions, and the palace goes with it. Into my deck. That had been my palace. I'm thinking I'm not even going to have a, a spare action to, to play this banquet. I'm going to be using it to recruit or to place other cards. So I'm going to send that down as a tower. It's big forces out there. Hopefully they clobber each other soon. Red may be in trouble, running low on cards and no prince in sight. I'll recruit again, fill up my garrison, which is equivalent to the number of opponents in the game. Tower this other banquet. I've only got one thief, and so all it takes is one disastrous attack to end me. Vikings are under the control of green this turn. He's decided to hit red. Mutual destruction there. It's looking very unlikely that red will bequeath, but he certainly could still do it. Now I'd like to get out a second thief and a vassal in it if possible. Big attack from green on red. Did he send enough damage? He did. I think I would count red out at this point, so I need to think about hurting green. That intrigue, maybe I can steal some of green's land. Well, if he's got the allies, he can certainly back it up with three vassals in castles. Red is certifiably doomed. It's not even time enough to put out a prince and then bequeath for him, where he's got no cards left. Test whether green has allies. He does. Fails to draw and dies. Now I guess I can throw a large enough attack to threaten Green's lands. This might be a misguided move. We'll see. Nine damage. Attacker wins. Well, he sent out enough to absorb it all, but we'll kill his 
lords. And he sends me ransom to save them. do that again. Whittling down, becoming a rather large land power, even though I never took any land or markets in this deck to begin with. attack on my towers. I think it might be time I kill the Vikings. Lost some towers but saved some. And now I need to recruit low on armies. No good having a big bunch of land in market towns if I don't have armies. I need to bequeath soon. Queen has bequeathed for the third time of the game. I can find some treacheries and keep him from doing it next time. I suppose before I bequeath, I'm gonna use up a political card. Uh, I guess I'm gonna contest this one with vassals. Getting risky here, he might have one in his hand. And he does, so that didn't go my way. Lucky Defender win card. Saved my infantry. Even got me a ransom. Guess it's about time I bequeathed again. back out. Sure would be nice to kill that prince. Well, Vikings may help oblige. Well, there's not quite enough damage to push through everything. I'll raid his lands. to need a bigger army to kill him off to recruit. I could afford to tower some of these cards, but I don't need to yet. He's not throwing out enough damage. Time. Hopefully he doesn't bequeath, but I have a feeling he is about to. I 
Now the silver lining there was that he has a big bunch of banners that weren't in the discard pile when he bequeathed, and so he's got a small deck that he keeps having to bequeath at this point. I guess now that he's done so, I can kill that tower wall. Since it's such overkill, I'm thinking I don't even need to send my lords. palace back. I think I can take a bigger chunk out of him here. Church decides, but there is no church. plenty of land here so I'm gonna take that palace it seems I've got this one well in hand I've become a military powerhouse even though I didn't start with much military force Dreaded Defender wins, and I'm regretting putting in that Prince and Vassal. I suppose I could hand him some Market Towns. So I want to save the Prince with Market Town, save the Vassal with the Market Town. Pay my ransom. give him that market town land combo but Vikings in my control hit his larger thief that should do it I have to assign damage I guess I'll put it on the strong ones Can taste this victory fight back. With some luck, one final attack should finish this character off. Demonstrating that a deck with little by the way of fighting power can overcome that with treachery and other political cards. Thanks for watching.